I think there is something a little special about this uh, next award. It's for lifetime achievement. I think um, for almost all of us in this room, working in an industry you love is a joy. To spend a lifetime working in that industry is pretty special, especially when you can inspire so many young people around you. So the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is sponsored by musicpracticerooms.com and Black Cat Music, is for an individual who has made a seminal contribution to the music industry. There are three nominees tonight. I'm going to read out all their names, and then I think before we have the announcement, I think we should just acknowledge all of them uh, for a lifetime's contribution. So they are Adrian Brown, Musical Director of the Stonely Youth Orchestra, Artist, music educator, and children's concert presenter. And Peter Dunkley, the retired chief executive of the Northamptonshire Music and Performing Arts Service. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we announce the winner, can we just have a round of applause for all three of those nominees? Welcome from Black Cat Music, Guy Dagger. That's in the room, and the winner is Peter Dagger. Fantastic. And what have you been busy with this evening? Sorry, thank you. What have you been busy with this evening? Well, I've been very privileged to be at the first ever Ryan Gold uh, presentation of awards for music education and I'm um, very privileged to have received the Lifetime Performance Award. So Fantastic. Okay. And um, yeah, it's tremendously exciting. So in terms of your lifetime achievement, what, what have been some of your, your achievements in your lifetime in music? say a lifetime achievement, no one person can do everything. And it's thanks to a combination of things, so all the, all the support I've had from the music and the music industry that made it possible for me to continue opportunities for young people, and that's really what my life's been all about, is making young people have, have opportunities to play and perform and to enjoy me, making music to an amateur or professional level, whatever it is that they choose to do. Fantastic. And are you still involved in music? You've, you've yeah, retired I'm still, recently? I'm still working for the Trust now. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lesser mortal and do some just some general teaching. And I, I work with a local amateur orchestra and anything else that comes along. I'm just enjoying making music again. I don't think I'll ever stop doing that because that's what keeps me sane really and gives me a purpose to my life. So. Fantastic. It's kind of hard to give up, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to give it up. <laughs> of course not, no. So, um, were you surprised to be nominated for the, for the very award? Surprised, very honoured, and um, especially against the other, the other two names that came up. They're very talented musicians in their own right, and congratulations to them, because they've done a tremendous job over their life. I mean, it's not just me. I mean, I, I've got a nomination, but I feel it is, it's a nomination for me and all my colleagues and my wife and family and everything. It's been a very special, special evening for me. It really has. I mean, it's been a special evening to see so many people so busy, giving so much opportunity in it's terms of music. It's the first time as well.